Okay, for now, let's introduce how the generic custom machine is a suit. Uh, this is combined by machine <laughs> and the chiller and the vacuum pump. This is the whole set. This power connection will be done. For now, come back to check to the connection of the machines. There, here is the power line of the vacuum pump. It is connected into the machine directly. The vacuum pump directly into the machine. And this is the power line of the machine. So about the water, water cooling connection, we already marked A, B, F. Also marked, also marked trailer. Max chiller A, B, C, like this. And this chiller for filling water, here is connect to the tap water for filling, filling water. Okay, and uh, here connect uh, vacuum pump, vacuum pump pipe. And uh, this one connect to the argon, argon, protective gas. And uh, this one, connect to the air compressor, air compressor. Okay, that's the connection. Let's start installing. Okay, let's start install. You do it. Yeah, proceed. It's a lot. Okay, this crucible setting. It's a cover. It's a lot. We must uh, here is for casting lift for checking the lift and up down. Let the lot into the center, into the center. Let them. Stuck right. <laughs> Fix the tight. Okay. Okay, and uh, some copper. For now, it's okay. Plus minus. Uh, let me show you again about the, the casting lift. When you manual way, this one casting lift open. And press here, it will lift up down. And uh, take off, it will be done to check the position. Okay? Uh, for this the thermal copper, there one's plus, uh, this is one minus, this is one plus. Here also one minus, one plus. What's the set in right position? Cannot uh, out of order. This one is not correct. This one is correct. Okay? Make it sure. Make it sure. In right way. The thermal copper already set. So installation is like this. Okay, finish. Following, we will do the operation. Okay. Uh, if you insert the thermal copper wrong position, the temperature will be shows long. We must change it back. This is minus. Yeah, it's, here shows minus this long. So let's go back, change back. Okay, now it shoots right now. Okay. For now, let's start the operation of the whole set. For now, let's start the chiller. Yeah, the power. Yeah. power. Power is inside. Okay. For now, let's set the temperature. For now, it's 20 degrees. For example, we set it to 20. Okay. Okay, for now, repeat. Use the setting. Okay. Press. Done. Temperature set point. Okay. Okay. Now Temperature you set. Increase. Okay. And okay. Back. 
Okay, and then press pump, press compressor, so machine start. Okay. For now, let's come to the vacuum casting machine. It's two setting temperature. Here, the temperature you want to set, press here, change the temperature you want. Uh, later, we will casting blast. So we set the temperature is uh, 750 degrees. Press here to confirm. Okay, let's add a material. Cover and then start the power. And adjust the power to to nine kilowatt is enough. Eight kilowatt or nine kilowatt is more or less is enough. Okay, waiting for melting. For now, let's please note that for this switch, the so over pressure is always on the open. This is on. This is on. This is this is off. We must on. And the protective protective gas also always in on. Okay, because uh, if the machine cover is off, it will be not uh, going to the protective, uh, protective gas, like argon. We just uh, check this uh, cover is sealed or not. We, there's one sensor here. This sensor is uh, to connect to the argon. If the cover is not sealed good, the light will be off. So the argon will be not in. Argon not, will not go into the machine. If this on, it means the cover is sealed, sealed good. Okay, pay attention to this light. For now, we just waiting melt. So temperature is going up. It's nearly to melting point. The power will be adjust themselves automatically. You see, just the 0.5 kilowatt. Let's check the melting status. Exhausting is we need to wait the liquid of the metal in the flask to forming to be solid. Then we can start exhaust. For now, maybe we can start start exhaust. Exhaust. For now here, here with some impurities, you can clean it down to the flask. Okay, you can lift out. Lift 
done. Just uh, let's wait five minutes. Five minutes to put it into the water. For now, it's very heat. To cool down, three uh, five minutes more or less, and put it into water. Okay. Okay. Put it into water. After done, drop it directly into the end directly because the temperature is very high. You want to put directly where we blow up water. Okay. Then like this way, up down, up down. Okay, when the temperature is cooled down, you can put it in the end and washing it. Maybe wait two or three minutes and uh, we can take it out to wash it. Actually, we also need to use the water cleaner to clean all the powders. It's very hot. Okay, let's see the finishing. Let's just check the finishing. This one is very good. Okay, you see after cleaning, see the finish. The face is very smooth. Face is very smooth. Okay, the status is very clear. It's very clear. Finishing is very good, very good. No oxidation and high density, smooth face. Okay, for another one, we already make two, two choose by plus. If for 22 carat, 18 carat gold, so finishing will be much better. It's high density and shining face. Okay, so that's our casting machine. Casting machine. Okay, give warranty about the quality. Done.